Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. So I set my alarm for six this morning and my plan was to like go to the gym, get ready and everything like before Grace was even up and before Steven started work. That way, if Grace did get up that he could get her. Um, and then I slept through my alarm and I woke up at seven. So don't have time for the gym, but I still do have time for a Peloton ride. So I'm gonna make a coffee, get some movement in my body and uh, we'll get the day started. For my coffee today, I'm gonna make that dupe of the Starbucks brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso drink. I think I've shown this before, but you just put ice in a mason jar, some brown sugar, then you pour your coffee in, well, your espresso. I was gonna add the milk, but nope, first you shake it. Shake it up until it's nice and frothy like this. Now I'm gonna add in the milk. It tastes best with oat milk, but I just have whole milk right now because that's what we use for Grace. Grab a straw and there we go. This really is just like my favorite fancy coffee to make at home because it's so easy. And it's a pretty good dupe for the Starbucks one. All right, I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna get in my workout clothes. Oh wait, no, let's go to the garden. We got a harvest. No, I was just about to show you how amazing my bell pepper plant looked because all these leaves were so full. And I mean, you still can see the, the peppers that are coming in, but oh my gosh, something destroy. Oh, no, I thought that was the culprit. That's just, <laughs> that's just the stem, Sierra. Oh. No, I found the culprit. Oh my God, he's so cute. But dude, no, you gotta find a new home. I am seething with rage right now. Oh my gosh. I know some people kill the bugs in their garden. I do not. So I put this little guy on a little stick and we're gonna put him out in the wild area. Okay, Um. well, this was my beautiful bell pepper plant that has like six peppers, but now it's just kind of sad. <laughs> These two bell peppers were actually the ones that had gotten eaten before. This one had been safe. Now this one has grown back really, really well. Wait, ew. What is that caterpillar poop? Ew, that was not, oh my God. Freaking caterpillar, that was not here yesterday. Okay, well, I need to clean that up. <laughs> Looks like this plant really got eaten too. It does still have two good looking peppers in there and hopefully it can continue to support those. <sighs> Looks like we've got some ripe tomatoes here. And then this zucchini honestly looked ready a couple days ago when we got back from Alaska, but I was waiting to pick it until I had something that I wanted to cook with it so that it would be really fresh. And that day is today. And today's garden haul looking delicious. Now I got a water and then uh, hopefully still have time to work out. Y'all, the way I'm about to ride out my anger on this ride. Oh my, I, I don't think I've ever been this mad at a freaking bug. And the audacity of the caterpillar to stay at the scene of the crime. It's like he was just laughing in my face. <laughs> like, look what I did. Oh, anyways, pick my ride and let's go. All right, we're cutting up some zucchini to use in Grace's omelet this morning. And then the rest we're gonna use either for lunch or dinner, I haven't decided yet. Zucchini, it's from the garden. That's raw though, so we won't eat it yet. Got some onions I pre-chopped and I feel like there was something else I was gonna put in here. Yeah. Oh, tomatoes, good idea. All right, let's saute, saute. And there we have it, some eggs, veggie, extra zucchini on the side and raspberries. Okay, go ahead and pick. Yeah. One of those? Ooh, yellow. Would you like one or two? Yeah. One. Okay. In your hair, yes. Bing! There you go. Do you want to go see? Yeah. In the mirror? Ta-da! Look, your hair is done. Yeah. You want to turn the lights on and off? It's another favorite game as of late. Good job. You want to do it again? Press it one more time. We'll turn back on. Yay! All right, let's go pick your shirt. Hey, you wanna look through? Yeah. That one? That's a cool shirt, huh? So I like to let her pick her shirt because then I can just match the bottoms to whatever shirt she picks. Look at you! Yeah. You wanna do the lights again? <laughs> Good job! And back on? Yay! Do you wanna go to the park and play with your friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, diaper bags, shoes, socks, water, reusable grocery bags, because I think we're gonna grocery shop on the way home. Uh, anything else? Oh, my wallet. I should grab that. And, um, oh, our library books. Library's right next to the park, so uh, maybe we'll hit up there after. Uh, Is that your Charmander? Charmander. Uh, Ready to go? Yeah. Well, I just filmed a clip and then realized the mic was not plugged in, so there's no audio, um, but we just pulled up at the library. It's now 11 a.m. We had a ton of fun at the park, and uh, we're gonna keep having fun, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You like the dog book? <laughs> That was so much fun. I don't know why, but there were so many kids Grace's age at the library today. I feel like usually there's like one or two in the kids area, but today she played in like the little puppet theater with like five other toddler girls who were all within like probably six months of age of Grace. And she was just having so much fun. We basically had play group at the park and then spontaneous second play group at the library. And it was just awesome. She, she did some coloring too. We picked out two new books. I love taking her to the library. Library. I feel like it's a ton of fun. It's like a good habit to build, especially as she gets older and it's free. So literally no downsides. We love it. Um, but we did stay here a little longer than I had planned. It's noon now. Usually she naps sometime between 12 and 1230. I'll push it to like one or 130 sometimes if we're out doing something. So I think I'm going to try to make this grocery run just super quick. Just get a couple things so that hopefully she doesn't fall asleep in the car ride from the store to the house and then she can have a nice good solid nap all righty are you kissing elmo on the box is that elmo yeah elmo all right to the checkout so we actually got that grocery shopping done so quickly like we were home by 12 30 so no problem keeping her awake um and then i made us some avocado toast now she's down for a nap and i wanted to do a grocery haul but like obviously i couldn't do that right when i got home since i was trying to get grace fed and down for her nap so i left the groceries out on the counter except the refrigerated stuff i put that away and now i'm gonna take it back out so i can show you guys youtuber things oh also actually wait more exciting than the groceries before we do that we went and picked up a couple more of the ceramics pieces that we made and i wanted to show you guys my two favorites so first this is my little gravy boat look at this madeline did the handle for me um and i i went into this making this piece no intention of making it a gravy boat but i ended up kind of like pinching the front a little bit i think i vlogged that day like when we were throwing the pieces so i'll put a card for that up there um but it ended up getting you know this little divot here it was a lot less pronounced and then i just kind of exaggerated it to make it more of a gravy boat and it actually turned out so cute and we don't have a gravy boat i just love it so much i love how like the inside is purple too and it's just so tidy and cute and i'm just i'm just so proud of it so there's that one and then this is the spoon rest that i made usually if i'm cooking i'll just put like my spoon or my spatula or whatever just like on the counter or like on a paper towel. Don't know why I never thought to buy one of these, but now I don't need to because I made one myself. <laughs> I had left these on the counter so I would remember to vlog about them. So uh, now I'm gonna put them away and we'll do our grocery haul. All right, so produce. I got some bananas, a yellow onion, avocados and limes and a head of broccoli. I just love roasting broccoli in the oven and then serving it with like ricotta cheese, which I also got. Actually, I didn't even have broccoli on my list, but I was getting the ricotta for a another recipe and I was like you know what I'm not gonna use all that ricotta cheese and I know exactly how I can make use of the rest <laughs> restocked my nutritional yeast and then also got some of this all-purpose chili oil sauce to uh, add a little bit of spice I got four Celsius's Celsius cel I got four cans of Celsius <laughs> in the sparkling watermelon flavor that's my favorite got some tortillas for a taco night and then I'll also use these to make some quesadillas for grace for lunches oh my gosh chocolate covered raisins when i have a sweet tooth these just hit the spot they're so good and i'm a milk chocolate girl i i'm okay with dark chocolate it's just it's so rich i feel like milk chocolate's a little more my speed and then for grace i got her these snackers that she likes a lot and then i 
haven't gotten her this brand of little snack bars yet. We usually just get the Target ones. And I'm embarrassed to admit, um, we I bought these because Grace was freaking out over Elmo on the box. She is very into Elmo right now. She has an Elmo stuffed animal that I, I think might have surpassed Mickey in her stuffed animal favorites hierarchy. Um, but she saw this on the shelf and she got very excited and then she held it for the rest of the shopping trip. So hopefully they're actually good. They're uh, sweet potato and carrot flavored. And then another refrigerated stuff. Well, this, this is actually frozen, but you know, same thing. Um, I got these little Annie's mini pizza bagels. These are really great for days when I like need to get stuff done during Grace's nap and I don't have time to make like a full on lunch. So I like having little frozen things like this that I can just pop in the oven. And then I'll usually do this with like a side of veggies. Got the ricotta cheese that I mentioned. I'm gonna use this and then also this cream fridge. No, no, not cream fridge, Sierra. That's how they say it in South Park. Uh, people have corrected me on this literally every time I've shown it in a vlog. Creme fraiche, creme fraiche. I got these two things for a pasta. It, I'm gonna do like a zucchini and corn pasta. I think probably tonight for dinner, that sounds pretty good. So I'll use the rest of the garden zucchini for that tonight. And then there's two more zucchinis in the garden. One that I think will be ready in like two days and one in probably like five or six. So I can use the next one for the taco night. I love doing like grilled zucchini with black beans. I think it's so good. Cotija cheese for that. Um, and then also this Monterey Jack cheese. Parmesan as always, I love Parmesan. I put it on anything. We just ran out of sour cream, so got some more of that. Also, bitchin' sauce, my favorite. Then some blueberries and whole milk for Grace. That's actually like kind of more than I thought. Can you believe I like we got all this stuff in literally like 15 minutes, I think. We were in and out so quick. Anyways, I'm going to re-put away my groceries. I'm gonna prep some veggies for lunch when Grace wakes up, and then I've got some computer work to do. So let's get to it. Oh crap, and radishes. I forgot to show my radishes. Radishes, there they are, beautiful. Riveting content. All right, chopped up some sweet potato and onion, and I'm just gonna cook this whenever Grace wakes up. We can cook it together. And we've got some leftover quinoa to serve it with too, so that'll be a great lunch. All right, getting some work done at my desk now. I actually just scheduled the first Alaska vlog to go live tomorrow, so that is very exciting. I had my editor cut both of the vlogs from Alaska, which was so nice, because usually there would be a much bigger delay between like going on the trip and then getting the vlog up. Cause I don't want to spend the whole trip editing. So I'd wait till I get home, but then I've got to get, you know, everything else in order. <laughs> like I definitely would not have had time to edit these yet and they're already done. So that is super, super nice. Shout out Rachel and Mario, which by the way, my editor, my, my two editors are engaged to each other. It's very convenient. And they're getting married in just a couple weeks here. We're going out to the East coast for their wedding. And Rachel's been doing a lot of like wedding planning content. It's fantastic. So I'm going to link her channel in the description. Definitely check it out. I know I know actually a good chunk of people uh, on this channel who watch the vlog found it through like my wedding planning series, which is so wild because I've now been married for five years, <laughs> which means I've been doing this channel for more than five years, which I don't even think I realized. Um, but anyways, if if you came to my channel for wedding planning content, um, you can check out Rachel's because she's doing that now. Anyways, um, yes, Alaska vlog scheduled to go live tomorrow and watching it back, it made me weirdly emotional and there's nothing like inherently emotional about this vlog. I think just, you know, we had a really great trip. We we made so many memories. I had so much fun. And also I just, I felt so good there. I don't know if it's like the air or the scenery or the weather. I love like cold rainy weather, but I just, I, I felt so comfortable and so, I don't even know. I just felt very me there and I felt very happy and like content. And I've actually seen it a surprising amount of comments asking me like, okay, so like you clearly love it here. Are you guys gonna move to Alaska? No, but I, I do see us traveling there more frequently. And more than anything, I think that trip really inspired me to just plan more like outdoor activities here in San Diego. Our outdoor scenery is definitely different in San Diego, but I think like the effect on me is pretty similar in that I just like, I like being outside. I feel good being outside, especially as it starts cooling down here. Cause right now it's just so hot in San Diego. Like I want to take Grace on little woodsy walks here and collect rocks. She's She's also just getting to such a fun age to just like go explore without any sort of like plan or activity. Like she just loves to walk and look at things. And watching this vlog back just made me go like, man, I, I need to 
make that a priority here because I just I just felt so good on that trip and I, I feel good too in San Diego it's just it's different but yeah we'll not be moving to Alaska anytime soon but honestly like later in life when the kids are out of the house I I could see I could see Stephen and I spending a lot of time there and also we're already starting to plan a trip to Alaska for next year because we didn't get to share this trip with Stephen's parents like we intended we really want to go back and experience Alaska with them and there's also just so much to see in Alaska maybe go a little further north um, perhaps into the Arctic Circle I don't know we're just we're in the very early stages of planning that but I'm already excited about it and watching back this Alaska vlog just uh, it makes me want to go look at flights and make some plans for next summer but I can't do that now because there's probably not that much time left in Grace's nap and I I have an exciting project to work on with 20 whatever my podcast with my friends Ryan and Paloma we decided that for all of our October episodes there's gonna be four we want to dress in different like themed Halloween costumes so tomorrow we have a meeting scheduled where we're all gonna pitch our ideas of like what we should dress as so I already brainstormed all of my ideas I just want to put them in like a fun little Google slide presentation so we'll see how much work I can get done on this now and then the rest I'll probably do tonight after Grace is down all right Grace is up so uh super quick sneak peek ah all righty hello again it is getting into the evening now I just hopped in the car drove over to the nail salon because I have an appointment to get my nails done I love getting my nails done like I like having my nails done but more so I love the experience the pampering I just find the whole thing so relaxing so it's something I like to try to fit in every couple months I think I last got them done for VidCon and my brother's wedding so been a few months I'm very excited uh let's go inside all right I think I'm gonna go with this color number 10 kind of a nice transitional mauve going into fall and there we are I love this nail color like I liked the way it looked in the book but the way it actually came out on my nails I just I love it even more and that was just so nice and relaxing so uh, I'm gonna head home now Steven's at home with Grace and actually the original plan for this evening was to make dinner before I went to my nail appointment but because Grace is nap was kind of late and we had a late lunch like I wasn't hungry yet she wasn't showing any hunger signs Steven said he was good to wait too so uh, we're just gonna have a little bit of a later dinner tonight it's like 6 15 now usually Grace's bedtime is at 7 but I think tonight we'll probably push it like closer to 8 since the nap was later um, but dinner should be quick anyways I'm just gonna do that ricotta pasta with the zucchini and I get to cook from my garden again which always just brings me a little bit of extra joy <laughs> all right I got my zucchini going and look I can use my spoon rest. I am just getting ready to add in our pasta here. Looks like the water is almost boiling. I like to use this Banza chickpea pasta. It's like a higher protein pasta and it tastes pretty much the same. And especially being a vegetarian with PCOS, any extra protein I can get is great. All right, added in some frozen corn and garlic. Also, I separated out graces. That way we can make ours spicy. So I'm gonna add in some red pepper flakes and salt which I cannot do one-handed <laughs> and also pepper I'm gonna put pepper in graces too all right pasta is cooked and drained now I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of the <clears throat> say it with me creme fraiche <laughs> and some water it's supposed to be reserved pasta water but I forgot <laughs> And now we're gonna mix it all together. And now this is done, so I'm gonna dish it up with, or more so on, uh, a little bed of ricotta cheese mixed up with olive oil and salt and pepper. Sprinkle of Parmesan for Steven and I. And there we have it, a very delicious and very quick, long time go-to dinner in our house. <laughs> all right, we are in the nursery doing some after-dinner playtime. Alaskan mountain man Steve is no more. <laughs> <laughs> suburban shaven <laughs> um but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time bye